Hi there, this is your favorite non-India math channel and I have a limit problem for you. So here if I put x is equal to 0 on this integral, it's going to be the integral from 0 to 0. So it's no matter what the function is, it's going to be 0 over 0. So we have a 0 over 0 case. And here what we can do is, and here it should be a hint for you that you, you can find an elementary an enter derivative for e to the t squared, okay? So here it should ring a bell that maybe we can use L'Hopital, okay? And let's see how would that look like. So what does L'Hopital means is that if you have an undefined station like this, 0 over 0 or infinite over infinity, what you can do is just der take derivatives of both sides separately, okay? So I have d over dx. And I will also show you what does it mean to take integra differentiate an integral, okay? So e to the t squared minus cosine t dt. So I'm, I, I'm differentiating top part with respect to x, and I should also do the same on bottom part. So, well, the bottom part is trivial. Let's think about the top part. So if I say, like, I have a function of fx, dx, okay? So let's say this has the antiderivative of this capital X, okay? So it's capital of fx. I can also add constant. So if I differentiate both sides, or let's also put bounds, okay? So I know that this is true. If I have bounds, let's say I have bounds from a to x, it can be from x to a to, uh, we just want one of them to be variable to, to see what's going on, okay? So if I have this thing, fx dx, then this is going to be just by the uh, fundamental, fundamental theorem of calculus. It's going to be fx minus fa, okay? We already know this. And if I now differentiate both sides, so I'm just differentiating both sides and writing results. So this is going to be what I want, d over dx, this integral, okay, from a to x. And here, so fa is just a constant. This is a fun function and we are putting a constant in it, okay? So this is going to be a constant. So if I differentiate it, this is going to be zero. Not fa is not zero, but the, the derivative of it is going to be zero. And this is going to be derivative of this capital F. And since I know the capital of F is antiderivative of F, if I take derivative of it, it's going to be normal Fx. Okay. So this means that if I'm differentiating a function that has like bounds like a to the x, or it can be opposite, then taking derivative of it means that in the function, I'm just putting the upper bound here, okay? This is the same function. This is still small f, not capital. So if I take derivative, so instead of t, I'm just going to put x. That's it. In the function, so here the function, this function is like f of t. And so I'm going to write fx. Okay, so I have e to the x squared minus cosine x over, and if I differentiate this thing, it's going to be 3x squared. And now if I put x is equal to 0, it's again 0 over 0. So I can again use L'Hopital. Okay, so I can use L'Hopital. And so it's going to be, let's write it here. Let me test x goes to 0. If I differentiate this thing by the chain rule, it's going to be 2x e to the x squared. And this is going to be plus sine x over 6x. 6x. So here I can separate it because I know that sine x over x has a limit. And if I separate this part, it's just going to be separated. Okay. So limit as x goes to zero. I'm separating it from to two pieces, this and this. So from first, it will be 2x 
times e to the x squared over 6x and 2x's will cancel out. So it's going to give me e to the x squared over just 3. And if I write the second limit, limit x, as x goes to 0, it's going to be sine x over 6x. And let's take this 1 over 6 before because this is a uh, famous limit, sine x over x. This is going to be 0. Every engineer knows this. Sine x is actually equal to 0. Uh, so this is 1. And if I put x is equal to 0, it's going to be 1 over 3. So my limit is equal to 1 over 3 plus, and this is going to be 1 over 6, which is equal to 1 over 2. And this is our answer.